Hey there everyone and welcome back to Google Guru. So today I have a video that's specifically for Google Apps Administrators and it's going to allow you to create a custom Chrome Web Store for your users. So the Chrome Web Store is great. It allows you to add a ton of really cool apps and extensions to your Google Apps account but depending on what type of organization you are in it may be important to manage those apps and extensions. So for example, if you're an administrator for a school or for some place that has very sensitive information like a uh, law firm, then chances are you're going to want to control what type of tools that your domain users are going to be having access to. So to get started, we're going to click on the other Google services icon and then click on Chrome management. Then we'll select advanced settings here at the bottom. And like almost all of your apps inside of Google Apps, you have the option to apply these settings at the domain-wide level, or you can apply it on a org unit basis. I'm just going to keep it to the domain for now. And as we scroll down here, you can see there's a ton of options available. So I can limit my domain to having access to just extensions and applications, or I could let them uh, have access to app script and even private apps that they can create on their own. In this section here you can see that there's an option for pre-installing apps and extensions. So this allows you to have extensions ready to go on your users browsers. So this is really easy to manage. All you need to do is just click on this link here and specify exactly what your users will have pre-installed. In this next section here, there's a couple of really important options to take note of. So you can elect to allow all apps and extensions except for the ones that you block, or you could elect to block all apps and extensions except for the ones that you allow. So those are very, very different types of security settings, and they're definitely important to keep in mind. So I am going to elect to block all apps and extensions except for the ones that I allow. And then if I click this link here, I can manage those settings. So there are a bunch of options available here. I can go through the entire Chrome Web Store and figure out exactly which ones I want to allow. Or I could go down to these sections here where Google's actually provided a list of well-known and frequently used applications uh, for Google Apps for Business customers. So all I need to do here is just click Add All and Save, and those will all be ready to go for my domain. If you go down to the Chrome Web Store section, you can actually customize the view that your user, users will see when they access the Chrome Web Store. So rather than seeing just the generic Chrome Web Store that everybody has access to, you can customize it so they'll only see the recommended apps and extensions for their domain and some private applications if you decide to add those as well. So for now, I'm just going to select the use for guruvideos.com selection, which is what I just created. And then I'm going to go ahead and save my changes. So that's pretty much it. There's a lot of customization available. Uh, if you guys have any questions about creating a private Chrome web store for your domain, feel free to leave us a comment in the section below the video. Thanks.